Month Creations and I am back and I'm leaving like shit I don't have my what time is it 12 30 I'm leaving in a couple hours <laughs> to go on vacation but I have my sacred space crate for May 2022 can you believe it's May so I was like you know what I'm gonna hurry up and do this um, before I leave so that way I'll leave you guys with a little nugget before I go on vacation and then I have two small packages from Bliss Crystals. I think that they're mostly like tumbled crystals, but I didn't want to open them without y'all, so I'm just going to do this all together. So, hello and welcome. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Lisa, and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things, including unboxings of witchy subscriptions and crystals. So that's what we're going to do. So, anyways, yeah, I'm leaving. My shop is now on vacation. And I will be on vacation here in a couple hours. <laughs> um, my boyfriend, like, up the time. I thought we were leaving at, like, 5 or 6 tonight. And he's like, be here at 2.45. And I was like, shit. Like, you can't tell, like, a girl that's always late to, like, up her time. Because <laughs> I'm always late. Except for, like, work. Work is, like, the only thing that I'm like, I'm going to be on time for that shit. Um, and, I guess, appointments. Ugh. But I hate appointments. I was telling I was telling Aiden, Aiden, I was telling you this the other day, that um, I freaking hate appointments. Okay, let's see what I got here. Again, the Bliss Crystals order is like super small. I was gonna, I, I was trying to be really good <laughs> at the last couple live sales and not really buy anything. So I bought a couple little things. Um, so I just couldn't help myself. So let's see what we have here. I have a little sachet. My hair is being crazy. Okay. Yee! Okay, what do, I, what, do, what do I have? What do I have? All right, so first I have a little bitty baby amethyst sphere. Let me see, I think my camera's like, I don't know. Okay, look how cute it is. Oh my God, it's a baby. Okay, <laughs> so there's that. And then, um, they have like a little pack of, um, five amethyst dog tooth, um, little chippy doos. They're a little bigger than chippies. Okay, I have five of these. They're just little tiny chips. And they, um, you see how there's like a bit of white at the top. And then, okay, it's really hard to show these. So that's the dog tooth. So I got five of those, um, and I'm gonna be using. Whoa, I'm gonna be using them like in grids. So, and you know what? Um, at some point, we'll talk about grids. You know, maybe I'll do like a, um, a some something about that. All right, let me put these over here. And then I also got a little um, ten gram. This is a ten gram parcel. That's what it says of pink opal tumbled stones. And these are also like that cool grid size. So, ooh. All right, let me try to get one up here so you guys can see. We've got a little pink opals. The little pinks. See, they're tiny. Okay, these guys over here. These are great size for gridding, okay. And then I have a blue, oh my God, it's so sweet. A blue Chalcedony mini heart. It's very small, it's very small. There was a mini, they had like a mini show. And that's where I got this one. But look at how teeny tiny this little mini heart is. Oh my God. This is, believe it or not, this is my first blue Chalcedony, I think. Um, I, I love it, I mean, I think it's beautiful. All right, what did I get here? Oh, it's a thank you. Oh, I got a Demeterite. Cool, 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 cool. All right, Demeterite is like this deep blue. Very nice. This would go good with your um, your third eye um, or your throat chakra. Anyways, it's hard to tell. It's it's a blue color, but it looks kind of black but it's a very, very deep blue. So that's what I got in this um, little bundle. And then I've got one more baby bundle, all kinds of trash that needs to go to the dumpster today. <laughs> I keep telling my son, who's, who's an adult man? Like my oldest son moved in with me. Um, when did he 
he move in? It was like November or December. He came, um, moved back from Oklahoma, which is where he grew, he grew up. I mean, I was there with him when he grew up. <laughs> it's where we lived. <laughs> um, but anyways, he keeps being like, mom, are you going to do the dishes? I'm like, bro, I'll get to it. He's the parent. <laughs> Clean up after yourself, mom. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's very hard. It's hard to be a boss bitch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not really a boss bitch, but I try, I try. Okay, okay, maybe I just got like one little thing in here. <laughs> They're like, B, why are you gonna make a ship out of one little baby thing? All right, I got some pink adventuring mini stones and it's a 28 gram parcel. I won't really be able to take it out of the um, package because they're so tiny. Uh, pink adventuring. I guess I didn't realize I got such small, but you know, I could put this in like my crystal drink, not like where it's actually in the water because I'll have to check to see if adventuring is even something you could do that with, but it's got a container on the bottom that it doesn't touch the water. So that is all for my crystal um, thingamajigger. Like I said, I was trying to be a good girl and not um, spend too much money. So I will put all of this over here. I will deal with this when I get back from vacation. Come here, chips. Come here, little baby chips. And you too, okay. All right, let's get into our sacred space crate. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need some new decoration. I mean, I need to find my, at this point, because <laughs> Beltane's over, I need to find my Litha. I still have Ostara right there. So I need to find my Litha um, plaque, because I know I've got, I'm sure I have one from last year. Okay, so this is the new moon box. It says, okay anything on the floor what time is it oh I'm feeling the pressure <laughs> but I'm like let me make it worse and try to do more things okay so it says new moon as the dark moon ends the new moon starts to grow with light once again it is the time for new beginnings the new moon represents fresh starts you could imagine that you have a blank canvas in front of you and you get to paint your future with anything and everything you desire in this life in many ways the new moon is a cosmic reset just as the moon seems to turn inward, so do we. The new moon is the perfect time for getting in touch with your inner self, engaging where you are and what you want with your life. Ah, oh, that's speaking to me right now in like every area of my life. Okay, what do you truly desire? What dreams have been planted in your heart? What goals do you want to achieve over the next six months? Do you possess any limiting beliefs that you want to release? Yeah. These are just some of the questions you can begin to ask yourself as you embrace the revitalizing energy of the new moon. In this box, I want to focus on how you can work with the moon in the zodiac when setting your intentions and affirmations. When you utilize that energy, it will help guide you towards your goal. Okay, so we have our, oh, how pretty. We have our um, calendar for the month of May, and that is the artwork. That is fabulosity. It is like Native American. Looks like we might be in Arizona or some shit. Okay. And then we got the moon and the zodiac on the back. This is not specific to any one person. It is just uh, when the moon is in Gemini, what that means. So, or, you know, all the signs or retrograde. Oh, I mean, it says Mercury retrograde at the end. Okay, so let's see. I think it says something about... Moon in the Zodiac calendar. This is a monthly calendar that will be included in every month's box. Many of us form a lot of our practices around the cycles of the moon. We do this because the moon controls a lot of energy on earth and within our bodies. It is especially important in understanding what energies we are surrounded with so we can use this energy accordingly. The artwork on this month's calendar was designed by Samantha Trick and she is at schmoozy on Instagrams. Okay. Then, ooh, girl, we've got this uh, New Moon Intentions Grumar page, and it's got all the Zodiac signs. Very nice. Okay, let's see. 
New Moon Intentions Book of Shadow Page. This Book of Shadows page lists the energies of the moon and the zodiac and can be used as an easy cheat sheet for ideas when setting your new moon intentions. The artwork was designed by my beautiful artist, Samantha Trick. Fabulous. What is our, let's see, let me look at my, what is today? Okay, I think we will be having our new moon on the 30th of May, and that'll be in Gemini. So we'll just, on the new moon intentions, let's read the Gemini. So it says, Gemini is ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. Set intentions that focus on building relationships and personal expansion. Perfect. Wonderful. I love it. It's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. All right. Let's get into the box. My boyfriend, my boyfriend killed my, um, crinkle paper monster. <laughs> He came and stole this chair that I'm sitting on to bring into my room the other day, and um, he knocked over my my um, crinkle paper monster that I got growing over here um, that I need to put somewhere else. <laughs> so now we've got just kind of a blob. He's no longer a monster. Okay, so first we have a smoke bundle. Very nice. That is. I probably should. Mm -hmm. Something smells good. Oh, it's moline. No, that ain't true. French lavender smoke bundle. I thought I saw lavender. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Oh, that smells good. Look, it's another mustache. <laughs> it smells really good. You can hardly see the lavender, but there's like a little purple like right there. Anyways, it smells good. All right, French Lavender Smoke Bundle. Oh, my nose now. Traditionally used in herbal medicine to treat many infectious diseases, lavender smoke evokes protection and cleansing. Burning lavender attracts positive energy. I think some of it stuck to my lipstick. Opens a heart chakra and opens a heart chakra. Burn this lavender smoke bundle before or during your new moon rituals or use any time to clear out negative or stale energy from your sacred spaces. Wonderful. Put you over there. Okay. Then we have our new moon ritual candle. Oh, how cute is that? It looks like there's some rainbow moonstone in here and then maybe like a little resin moon. Look at that. See, there's like gold flecks inside the purple crescent moon there. Lovely. What am I smelling? New moon ritual candle. This spell crafted moon, excuse me, spell crafted new moon ritual candle is handmade with 100% soy wax. Colored gray by using mica powder filled with moonstone crystals for its ability to connect us with the energy of the moon scented with lavender to help release any, to help release self-doubt and to clear any negative energy. Sandalwood for its ability to send you into a deeper meditation during your new moon ritual, enhancing one's spiritual connection and helps to remind the user to make their spiritual and manifestation practices a priority in their life. It is also used for protection, healing, and banishing negative energies. Light this candle and meditate on your new moon affirmation. And then it just says, be careful not to burn your house down and stuff like that. <laughs> it didn't really say those exact words, but I'm paraphrasing. All right, now we've got new moon goddess incense sticks. Let's smell it. I don't think I have an incense burner in here anymore. I took it in the other room again. Ooh. New Moon Goddess Incense Sticks, a sensual floral fragrance with notes of red apple, succulent peach, lily jasmine, clove spice, tonka bean, and warm vanilla. These incense sticks smell so beautiful and make a perfect offering to the Moon Goddess. Burn these incense sticks on the new moon to promote bringing new and beautiful energy into your sacred spaces and as an air offering to the moon. Wonderful. More crinkle paper. All right, and then we have our Chickweed Handmade Salve. Anti-inflammatory, 
antiseptic, antifungal, and fat deposit reducer. Oh, I'm about to rub that shit all over myself. <laughs> I was just telling my, my work friends that um, I was like trying on some shorts for my vacation and I was like, oh girl, <laughs> they I can't zip them up. <laughs> I've gained some weight and I'm like I didn't even realize all the damn cellulite I've got on my legs I know my boyfriend is like bitch get your shit together <laughs> so if this reduces fat deposits um, I'm, I'm gonna have to put this everywhere so anyways did I show this chickweed and it never smells like anything I just always try to smell things all right chickweed salve chickweed salve is made from infusing the chickweed in oil for three moon cycles I love this salve for reducing small fatty tumors under your skin. But chickweed salve is also great for using on itchy bug bites, burns, cuts, and other itchiness as it has a cooling and drying effect on the skin. Ooh, maybe I should bring this on my vacay because we are going to be doing some um, hiking and we might get bit by some bugs. So I'm going to put this over here. Okay. And then we have a um, crystal... Uh oh, Let's see if I can get this open. Oh no, it's like tad and stuff. Okay. All right. Hmm. I I'm just gonna per, I'm gonna just throw a wild fucking guess out there, um, and say this is Udalite. I'm probably so wrong. Or it could be, um, Rubellite. Okay. It's like a grayish. And then it has a little bit of maybe like quartz inclusions. And there's a little like, like ruby color. Okay. Let's see. Okay. A strophilite with garnet. Okay. Okay. Astrophilite is an energetically potent stone that infuses your entire system with light. Said to have a tranquil, authentic, and sincere energy, it is also called the marriage stone. Oh, my boyfriend's never going to propose marriage. I'm going to put this in my bra. <laughs> he, he thinks it'll change everything. This is because it promotes fidelity, truth, and complete honesty between partners in a relationship. We've already got that. It may assist you to find your life purpose as it aids you to recognize your purpose for being here as it illuminates your true self. It gives you the ability to make major changes that will move your life journey forward in a profound way. It has a strong metaphysical it has strong metaphysical properties for transformation. Once you fully know yourself, you may bring this self-knowledge to your life. Garnet is found in these astrophilite crystals, which promotes ambition and motivation. It's very pretty. I'm excited. I like the shape of it. It's, um, it's almost like a, um, like a tourmaline shape, polished. Okay, what's next? All right, so then we have some tea. We have sinus tamer tea. There it is. All right. Sinus Tamer Tea. Springtime is here and the air is filled with allergy provoking pollen. Yes. So I am including a Sinus Tamer Tea. This is a caffeine free tea filled with mullein leaf, marshmallow root, orange peel, eucalyptus leaf, and peppermint leaf. Add one tablespoon to six ounce boiling water. Blah, 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 blah. Um, there you go. It says to make sure that you use a tea bag or strain through a coffee filter so that the fibrous hairs of the mullein do not irritate your throat. Good to know. I guess it doesn't say that on there. Um, there's actually, it says mullein leaf, marshmallow root, orange peel, eucalyptus, and peppermint also in here. Very nice. Oh, I don't know what else to get. Okay, here's our herb. I'm gonna guess mullein. Ta-da! Throw that over there. All right, so we've got moline, and it comes in this cute little jar. All right, moline leaf in herb jar. Moline is not just soft on the outside. It is also softening by virtue of its inner nature. App applied externally, compresses of the leaves, which contain 
mucilage properties are said to soften tumors, hardened swellings, and inflammatory conditions of the skin. The leaves and flowers are highly recommended as a cough remedy, especially for a dry hacking cough, asthma, and bronchitis, etc., etc. Um, it is also sometimes given for kidney complaints. The tea must be strained through coffee filter paper so the fine hairs can be, because they can be irritating on the mucous membrane if swallowed. Got something in my mouth. It might have been one of those fibrous hairs. <laughs> an infused oil can be prepared with the flowers, which is an effective remedy for earaches. Magically, mulling protects against all evil and clears the mind of the garbage that we pick up in our day-to-day -day lives. Very nice. All right. Then, I'm guessing this is an oil, yes. Oh, I've got a headache. Need some real food. All right, we've got Affirmation Ink. Oh, it's ink. Affirmation Ink. I'm gonna open it, I don't know why. I don't know what I was trying to smell. I mean, I smell something, but I don't know that it's like a purposeful smell, <laughs> you know? Okay, let's see here. Okay, before I do this, there's something else that goes with it. So, oh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce what it says on there, but here's a nice little box. Oh, wow. It is a quill pen with a freaking peacock on it. Holy shit. Oh my God. Can you guys see the whole thing? Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Like, so peacocks can be associated with the sign Aquarius and I'm an Aquarian and I've always been drawn to peacocks. I almost want to start like collecting a bunch of peacock shit. I actually have another I have something that's peacock somewhere around here. Anyways, um, yeah, I always really, like, God, look at that! It's so pretty! Okay, so I will um, read about both of these because obviously that ink goes along with our peacock quill. Oh my God! That is so crazy. Okay, I don't know what to do with this. All right. So peacock feather quill. This gorgeous peacock feather quill is made with ethically sourced peacock feathers. Peacocks lose their feathers naturally, and I love that they are gathered to use as magical tools from peacock farms. Peacock feathers that are colorful are shed from male peacocks. Yeah, they're like the prettier ones. Um, their bright feathers are designed to impress females during the mating season. I'd be like, hey, you're looking good, Mr. Man Peacock. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Um, where where was I? Their bright feathers are... Okay, I already said that. There is so much magic in the beauty of a male peacock feather to combine with the feminine energy of the moon to birth your manifestations and affirmations. I included this quill so that you can use as a ritual with writing your monthly affirmations. I recommend that you consecrate this quill as it is a magical tool. So then the affirmation ink, this magical ink is an ancient spell recipe that includes essence of lavender. Okay, so I thought I smelled something that was like not just like an ink smell. Lavender will help eliminate self-doubt and negative energy that often is the culprit of failed affirmations. Lavender is also an offering often left to the moon goddess. Use this ink with your peacock quill to write your monthly affirmations. I love, I love. Okay, you ready for the next thing? This is the last thing. Last but not least, it's in a bag. Let me open it because I can see it. I don't want to hold it up until I have it out. Oh, wow. Oh, stop. Okay, so it says New Moon Affirmation Journal. Guys, look. Can you see it? It's got astrological uh, symbols or like they're... they're um, Fuck, I don't know what it's called. Um, like, Pisces is the two fish together. I get, we'll just call it their symbol. I don't know. But anyways, it says... Oh, it might also be written in a different language or something. Because some of these are... 
like Toro and Taurus. And then it does actually have their glyph. If we can get it really close at the bottom, you see the ram and then it's got the glyph for Aries and then it says Aries. It's kind of hard. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then on the side, it's got a little buckley do. And of course, handmade papers on the inside to write your affirmations again. Okay, sorry. <laughs> wow, and on the back it's stamped with this um, design. Oh my God, it's so cool. Like this is a really cool box, y'all. Oh my God. Okay, I am so excited. I throw all my trash out. So I'm gonna keep this in this box so I can deal with this when I get off of vacation. But oh my gosh, guys, so that is our um, our Sacred Space Crate for May 2022. I'm collecting things here. What did you think? I don't know if I can really pick a favorite. I'm just excited about the combo of the quill, the journal, and the ink. And then also um, the, uh, what, what else did I, what else did I get? There was something else in here that was really cool. I don't know, maybe that's it. <laughs> I am excited about this crystal though. I do not have an astrophilite with garnet in it. So this is awesome. This is a wonderful box. I would love to hear in the comments below what y'all think. Uh, leave me a comment and a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you guys are not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. It really helps out my channel. And again, when I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna do some big giveaways. I'll probably do multiple. Uh, it'll be more than one. I'll probably do a giveaway from like my Bath and Body Company a giveaway from my witchy store, and then a giveaway on some things that I get from these boxes that, um, that I'm not going to keep. So stay tuned for that. Tell your friends. And again, I'm going on vacation. You guys will probably not hear from me until mid-May. I think I get back about May 18th. So thank you guys. And if you wouldn't mind giving my channel some love over these next two weeks, I'm a little afraid because Ugh, whenever you stop filming and then also with my Etsy store, which there's nothing you guys can do about that. I had to put it on vacation because obviously I can't mail stuff and take all my inventory with me. So <laughs> anyways, I would love if you guys would give me some love on my channel, watching some of my old videos if you haven't already and commenting and liking those videos, subscribing if you haven't. That really helps me out. I don't want to lose like my standing um, cause I'm starting to get more momentum and it's really helpful. So anyways, guys, I'm going to shut up cause I got to get going. I'm going on vacation. So <laughs> we will see you guys in a couple weeks and until next time, have a great day. Bye.